Hello. Hi. Hello. Get everything organized. Thanks for joining me. Thanks for hopping on live. Hi. How are you? Thanks for hopping on. I appreciate it. I'm Holly. I'm with Restorology. I'm located in Las Vegas, Nevada. And I'm having fun uh, doing, I'm gonna do a chair today. Um, I hope I'm doing everything right. And I gotta read. Hi, hi Dixie Bell, thank you. Hey Amy, all right. Okay, so uh, uh, I'm, like I said, I'm Holly, I'm with Restorology. I'm located in Las Vegas, Nevada. And um, I, I had a I had a Easter project I was gonna do. Me and my daughter were out and we saw this chair and I fell in love with it. And we really wanna show you how to make a really quick makeover with this chair. <laughs> we're gonna paint it today with our Dixie Belle paints. Um, so yeah, today I'm gonna be doing a giveaway also. So I want you to like and comment on this, on the page and jump over and give Restorology I'll post the link in this comment and go give me a like also. I can't read all the comments. Greenville, South Carolina. Very cool. Okay, so I, I really fell in love with the style of this chair. Um, it's really dingy though. I don't know if you could see very well inside the picture, but it's pretty dingy. And I'm gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna paint it. <laughs> so I had some great ideas. Um, I'm gonna do the outside different and then this is the cushion and so what do y'all think of this one is this gonna be good look at this we're gonna I'm gonna change I'm gonna I'm gonna have to get out my sewing machine <laughs> and I'm gonna paint the chair cushion but I'm gonna paint the rest of the chair see how that's gonna go isn't that gonna look cute gosh I wish I could see that <laughs> Yeah, I'm gonna paint the whole chair. Yes, I am. <laughs> um, I've already started. Okay, so I have this idea of I'm gonna use some rebel yellow back here because it's kind of a gold apricot like right now going on. And I think I'm gonna change that. And then my daughter came up with the great idea to add some of that plum right here. So I might add the plum crazy or I may use the muscadine wine right here on this one section. So yeah, it's gonna be a very fun, funky chair. <laughs> it's gonna be real easy, because you know what? I've already started, <laughs> I couldn't wait. So right here on the sides, I'm gonna do hurricane gray. So the whole back of the chair is gonna be a hurricane gray color. And this is just one coat. And it's, uh, this was just one quick coat and I use a little went a whole lot of way, so um, it's gonna look. So this is gonna be gray. <laughs> this probably right here in the middle is gonna be the rebel yellow, and then this right here might probably be the plum crazy. And the seat cushion's gonna look like this. What do you think? Let me see what everybody's saying. You like the color, Tiffany? Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Hello from Nevada. Hi. Cool. Okay, good. So I was just going to show you how easy it is and how Dixie Bell's paint goes such a long way. Um, so be sure to like and comment. Let us know where you're from. Um, I think I'm going to start. You know what? I might finish on the back area. So see these colors? These are the colors I'm going to use. So I can't decide on this one or this one. What do y'all think for the base? Would you do the plum crazy or the muscadine wine right here? We're gonna make a fun, funky chair. Yeah, I have to get out my sewing sewing machine. <laughs> I haven't sewed in a while, so I gotta make piping because I really want it to match this cover. But I'm gonna refresh, freshen this up and I'm gonna make this right here. All right, so I think I might just finish, start doing, show you how easy Okay, can you see how nice this is turning out? This only took a second to do too. There, see that? 
You think Musk and Plum Crazy. Oh, well, we'll take a, well, I might have to take a poll, because, yeah, I'm thinking, oh, Muscadine wine, too. Wine, yeah. Yeah, I'm going to take a poll, because <laughs> we got to figure this out. Um, but I love the, the fabric and all that. But, um, so anyway, so this fabric is, uh, you know, it's a little plushy, but it is a little dingy, and it's faded, and... I, you know, I figured out we can just refreshen this up and reuse this again. It's going to be easy to use. And like I said, this right here, I just started it this morning and I only used one very light color and it went such a long way. So I'm going to show you how easy it is. And don't be afraid to paint your fabrics. No, it won't stiffen up or anything. It's going to, see, it's, to me, it's soft and still plush. So, I'm going to start out with my Hurricane Gray that I had. So, yeah, be sure to like and comment. We are having, and uh, I'm using this older brush. You don't have to, but, you know, I just figure I'm going to be mushing around a lot, so. Do you have any? Oh, I missed it. No, no cracking. I get no cracking. No, because what it is is you're technically kind of dyeing it. Um, Dixie Belle Paints is very highly pigmented. It's almost like a dye. When you paint with it, you really want to use a little bit of water because it makes it go a long, long way. So... I'm going to spray a little hair. I'm going to show you how easy it is. Can you guys see okay? Let me move it this way a little more. I won't get it going. It's a cute chair. Isn't that great? <laughs> okay. So, yeah. So, I'm going to spray it a little. I'm going to spray the fabric down just a little, just to dampen it. And I'm sure you've all painted something. But why not? You know, if you don't like the color of your chair, and I can't upholster anyway. So I'm going to just go down. And I'm going to go this way and that way. And if you need more water, don't be afraid because the fabric will dry. And this is such a light coat. A little goes a long way. I know it seems scary, but you know what? It's going to turn out so pretty. And of course, this is, like I said, this is going to be the first coat. And I'm not going to tape this off. <laughs> I haven't decided what to do with the wood yet. So I don't know if I'm going to tape this off or not. I may paint it. I don't know. But you know what? If I get some on the wood, it just wipes right off. You know, don't let it dry too long. And we can get this done. So I like to go both ways. This way. And then this way. So let's do a big section here. Let's get this moving. You want it to flow. Let's get it to flow. And I'll show you. I'll look at most of your comments. I'm pretty blind. I gotta look. And... But see how easy that was? That was just one little section. Can you see? Can you see okay? It's going to dry pretty and even. It really will. It's just looking a little wet right now, but once it dries, and it won't stiffen, it really won't stiffen the fabric at all. And I'm using a little bit, and it goes a long way. But boy, I wish uh, someone could show me how to sew that. I, I used to sew. All my kids, all my kids, I sewed everything for my kids. Now I have to get, you know, I've just kind of faded away from sewing. But I think I can make that cushion. I'm going to make some piping. <laughs> that was the hard part, making piping. I don't know if anybody's ever done that. Who's a sewer here? No, it shouldn't dry streaky. No, this is just the first coat. You might want to do two light coats. It won't dry streaky at all, no. No, because you know how I know this? I've painted so many chairs. I just don't, I can't afford to go reupholster, so I just have, I just paint them. Change the color with your decor, so easy. You can paint over a pattern chair, yes. I had a pattern chair that I did, um, it was 
last year I did a pattern chair. Um, it paints right over any any pattern, any. But yeah, if you're if your material's textured, you'll still have that texture. Yeah, you'll have like, say it's a, a paisley or something. But yeah, no, it won't. It won't. And so I'm gonna try to go this way. I'm gonna. I better quit talking. And I'm gonna just show you how easy it'll go over. See, like I see a streak right there I didn't do. But it won't streak up. By the second coat, it's gonna cover so nicely. You'll see. So I've already finished that area. And I might have to get a smaller brush just to get on the little cording right here. And I like to do bigger strokes like this. And if you want to get more water, just use more water. It spreads it around. And then I like to go both ways. And you don't have to totally saturate the material, but it will dry. It's almost like you're dyeing the fabric with your color that you have. Because these are, Dixieville has such high pigmented colors. So this is like a Chanel. But anyway, you want to go both ways and get it in all the little grooves. And I'm telling you, by the, by the second coat, it's going to just come on beautifully. I don't know if you could see very well. So, like, look. I'm going to take this and I'm going to go down this thing. Add a little water. Go both ways. And I'm almost done with my chair. <laughs> Almost done with the back. See how easy that is? <laughs> okay, let me see some questions. Yeah, it's Hurricane Gray. I'm using Hurricane Gray right now because it looks the closest to this pretty uh, fabric that I picked out. Uh, awesome. Be sure to like and comment. Let me know where y'all are from too. I love I love following everybody and seeing what everybody's up to. It's spring break here in Vegas, so all the kids are out running around the street. <laughs> there, see how I built that in? I could go a little thicker, but I'm just trying to show you how nice and simple it's going to be if you did it a light coat first, then do the heavy coat. And I did that part there this morning, and it's already dried. So you could tell I don't use a whole lot of water, but I do use water. <laughs> Let me just finish this section, and I'll answer some questions. Because it's coming out really pretty good. <laughs> And yeah, I went, uh, like I said, me and my daughter, we were out one day and we saw this chair and I'm like, oh my gosh, I love it. So we were trying to think of some way to give it a nice little funk. And so we went to the fabric store and we looked around and we came up with uh, that pattern. And you know, I could get a lot more funkier. I could take off this, this right here, the uh, trim and change it to like a uh, crazy plum. You know, just get fun with your furniture. So easy. But you see how I'm trying to go both ways, up and down, and getting it in the material? Yeah. And I might have to just go over the trim separately, or I might change it out. I haven't decided yet. But let me finish this. I'm going to show you how cute it looks already. Yeah, I'm not worried about getting it on the wood. I will, I'll get that off. 
Let's take a damp rag and wipe it off. I was going to tape it all up and I thought, eh. Okay. So that right there. Let me see if you can see that. <laughs> can you see that? Did I get out of the picture? Anyway, that's the first light coat. So let me stand up. Let me show you what it looks like. All right, look. Can you see that? See that? First light coat. <laughs> All right, and this is the front. And this is what we're gonna go with right here. Look cute. All right, let me read some of these comments. <laughs> Make sure. I'm using Dixie Bell paint. It's a chalk and mineral paint? Yeah, it's chalk and mineral. Um, chalk and mineral. This one was Hurricane that I just used. And I believe on the base here, I'm gonna use Rebel Yellow. Where'd my Rebel Yellow go? Anyway, I'm gonna use Rebel Yellow right here. Oh, it's right here. <laughs> Because you see the material? This is what I'm going to try to go for. <laughs> All right. No, uh, I know someone just asked if it will bleed through. No, you know, I've done so many chairs. I, you can take a, a wax and seal it. Take their clear wax, seal your chair. But, you know, Dixie Belts tends to dry and it doesn't remove. <laughs> I did a chair, everybody sits in it on my entryway, and I've never had an issue with it, and I wipe it with the rag and everything, and I never even sealed it. So Dixie Bell just tends, it just, it's a water-based anyway, and it just doesn't remove, it doesn't. And besides, I'm also doing the cushion, I'm gonna sew my own cushion, so. Where they're mostly sitting, it's not gonna bother them, but. I've done quite a few chairs and none of them, I've never had a problem with any of them. But if you're feeling like you might need, you know, want a little more protection, just take your clear wax and, and push it, put it on because it'll be fine too. Yes, I've tried the sprays. You can try the Easy Peasy spray wax. It would work really well. That would work really well. Yeah, definitely. Okay, you wanna try it. Hey, Teresa. That's awesome. Uh, no, it shouldn't matter if it has a nap, not at all. No, this is actually, this is a, what am I trying to think this is? A chenille, like a, a, a chenille top? I don't know how you would describe it, but yeah. No, it doesn't matter what kind of nap it is. Uh, you know, I could post a link for you. Is it Lalana? I could post a link for you where you can go purchase your uh, paints on the Dixie Bell site. Um, just make sure you like and comment. We're going to give away an uh, 8 ounce of Dixie Bell choice of your color. Um, just let me know. Um, I'm going to, what I think I'm going to do is just give you 24 hours so that I could have more people get on and do the vid, uh, watch the video so that they can share and like. So all you have to do is share and comment. Um, hop on over to Restorology and I'll pick a winner and I'll let you guys know who, who's the winner. So I'm gonna give you a little time so that other, other people can have the opportunity to win, to win an eight ounce color of their choice. Yeah, you like it so far? <laughs> you like it so far? So you know, this is pretty much dry and I could start on the second coat. Can you see how cool that's going to look? North Carolina. First time, North Carolina. Thank you for joining. Thank you so much. Yeah, I love the fabric. You like this fabric, you mean? <laughs> I love the old chair. I did love the color. But it was kind of fady, and I just wanted to funk out something. So I had to go a little crazy. But this is going to be really cool. See all the cool colors in it? 
Yep. So I'm trying to kind of match, but get a little funky with it. And my daughter came up with the idea of putting like the crazy plum right here or the muscadine wine. We're just going to have fun with this chair for sure. <laughs> thank you for, thank you for watching you guys. I really appreciate it. I'm going to go over on the second coat right now. And are y'all, are y'all liking this color right here for the top part? It's actually a nice, subtle, subtle yellow. It's beautiful. It's called Rebel Yellow. I'll be sure to post this on my page when I'm all done. You know, I'm going to go crazy. And I may just like like the wood hanging out on it because I kind of like that. <laughs> you like it? Thank you, Christy. Yeah, I'm painting the fabric. Color, great color combination. I know, they're going to be fun. Isn't it fun? Hey, Amy, how you doing, girl? All right, so let's do, let's just start on the second coat because this is already dried. And look, you can still feel it. It still has that fuzzy, it's dry, it feels great. It's doing, you know, so we'll do the second coat and I'll show you how nice it. It fills in and we're going to do it light, another light color. See, I like to go light before I go dark on anything. So always light, always light. <laughs> so we'll... Missed it real good. And a little goes a long way, so we're just going to brush all this on here. And fill in the spots. And you guys saw that I did the back of the chair in like, what, five minutes? So you can do this. It's real easy to do. So I'm trying to get both ways and make sure I get it in there, but it filled in really nice. The only thing I might have to do is go back over this little trim and darken that. That's it. Let's see. It has filled in really nice right now. See? That part's pretty much done. So we'll do a little more. Let you guys... Share and comment and let me know where you're from and I'll be picking a winner and I'll let you guys know tomorrow. I'm going to give it 24 hours so that everybody has the opportunity to get on and watch the video. So everybody has the opportunity to win. If you need more water. And it's going to dry really fast. I already started this this morning so it's dried really fast. Just think of it as your dyeing your chair fabric. See? Very nice. There you go. But yeah, I'll definitely post this. I'll post the link on Dixie Bell's, uh, on this video. Uh, go to, to my page on Restorology. Give it a like also. And... You'll have an opportunity to win any color you want of the 8-ounce paint of color of your choice. Long Island. Nice. What color am I using? Okay, I just used Hurricane Gray. That was for the back of the chair. The whole back of the chair is going to be Hurricane Gray. And I'm going to use Rebel Yellow. Because I thought it looked great with the... It's kind of similar to this, but it's not. But I'm going to change the color up. It's a little drab and dreary. And I might use a little plum crazy right here on that bottom strip. <laughs> Haven't decided what I should do with the wood yet. Maybe y'all could let me know what you think. I, uh, yeah, you can dye clothing too also. Yes. There is some videos on the Dixie Bell page. Uh, where they dye, dye uh, clothes. Thank you for sharing. Thank you so much. I don't know what time frame I've been on. Um, but like I said, share and comment. And tomorrow I will pick the winner for your 8 ounce giveaway. I'll answer all your questions when I'm done here. Um, and don't be afraid to uh, change up your stuff. <laughs> change up your furniture in your house. This is what I painted so far. And look, I'm pretty much done with that. I hope you all can see that. I'm going to get really close on it. Can you see that? 
Isn't that great? Don't be afraid. I can't I can't reupholster everything, so <laughs> I got to paint it. Shared. Thank you so much, Mississippi. Drop cloth on the wood. Do you think so? Well, that's a thought. I think I'm going to do that. All right. Drop cloth on the wood. I was either thinking of either making it a little brighter using some of the Voodoo gel stain, maybe in the tobacco road. and But you know what? I'll try the drop cloth. Hey, Lynn. How are you, Lynn? Thank you guys for watching. Um, like I said, share and comment. Um, and I will pick out the winner. I'm going to give it 24 hours before I pick out the winner so more people can get on and watch and share this video. I mean, if you have any questions, I'm definitely going to get on and answer, you know, get on and, and check it and answer it. So, New Hampshire. Awesome. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. If you have any questions, just, just comment here and I, I get to all the answers. So thank you so much for watching. This is just going to be a very fun piece. And I'll post my link right here. Hi, South Carolina. Hi, Karen. I will. I'll post my link on this and then you can... Uh... It's chilly and rainy there. Lynn. It's hot and sunny here already. <laughs> hot and sunny here in Vegas. Crazy. Check out the furniture in Mackenzie's Child. Huh. I'll look into that. Kansas. Thank you guys so much. Okay, I'll let y'all go. Uh, be sure to like and comment. And I'm giving a giveaway. So in 24 hours, I'll let someone know who wins and you'll get to pick the choice of your color and I'll tell you how to do it you'll you'll just message uh, Dixie Bell and they'll give you a passcode and you can order it all right thank you guys so much for watching <laughs> appreciate it thanks